Hey everyone, my name is Dan and welcome back to Miss Messages. So, um, last episode, we found the first ending called Miss. And also, the thing that I don't know about this game is that uh, I thought this kind of game, like when you click start, when, I mean, when you found the first ending, and then like, when you click start again, it will restart the story. But no, <laughs> this game is actually if you click start, it will continue a new story. So, if you found the first ending and you click start again, it will be a new story. That thing. That's the thing that I didn't know about this game because I, would, I just watched some other people gameplay and that's how it works they just click start again and it will be continuing the story so yeah that's that's kind of cool actually because I thought you know there's only just a short story but I guess you have a lot of story in it so yeah that's pretty cool and I, I really like this game so yeah that's also the thing a great thing for me because yeah I really love this game this game is really cool and unique so anyway, um, yeah, let's just go start. Uh, last episode is kind of messed up. <laughs> Literally, really messed up. Yeah, my friend right here, she died. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. Oh, and also, um, sorry if um I didn't upload any videos last week because you know it it was holiday and you know I think you guys know why because you know I'm in Malaysia and there's holiday last week. Because you know, I I also kind of forgot to wish you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna wish you guys right now. I know I'm too late, but happy ideal ideal victory to all you Muslims up there. I'm sorry. I know I'm I'm too late, but I'm truly sorry because I was you know I was going. It was holiday and you know just go out with my family and there's no Wi-Fi outside, and you know I can't brought I can't take my laptop with me. So yeah, so truly sorry. I kind of late now, but. Whatever. So anyway, um, let's continue the game. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. That is May. Yeah, May. May. It's not. It's not safe here. May, is that you? Well, seems like her. Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hill. As if she was coming out somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in a blizzard. She's dead, dude. Don't go, please, don't go alone. So May is my best friend, I think. Or maybe it's just my roommate, but we're kind of becoming a friend, I guess. She disappeared into the snow, I missed my chance. Uh, so last episode... Right, that's a heavy breathing. Um, so last episode, um, the first ending we got is Miss. The ending called Miss. So, I wake up in a cold sweat. Fearful but not sure why. What was that about? I don't know dude, that was scream. Never mind that, I should start working. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open now. It's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh god. So everything is restarted, but you know, like everything is restarted. So my friend is still alive, but I just had this dream for me to remember it. Wow, that that is kind of cool. It's like um, it's like um the movie you know. Um, I forgot what's the movie called, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff like this, like. Like the day restarted, and suddenly you have this dream that okay, that that's pretty cool. I really like it. So anyway, let's go with my laptop again. Uh, I need to work, but that dream I can't focus. Yeah, it's restarted. It's like Groundhog Day. Yeah, you guys ever watch Groundhog Day? Of course, you guys do. Groundhog Day, a really cool movie. It was pretty, it's really old now. What's this? Should I accept it? Uh, I kinda want to decline. Because I'm gonna find a new ending. Right. So it must be. So now what? Um, go back. No, actually, let's just go to the bathroom. Maybe something new gonna come up. Nope. Nothing new, I guess. Um, 
Well then. Do I really need to exit it? Okay, fine. Um, send me back. The fuck? <laughs> Sorry, um, that's where I hear voices. Just thought you're coming from my roommate's room. No, I won't accept it. Let's go back. Bro, my roommate, May. Getting closer, I hear voices. Listen. Well, my Chinese was bad. Yeah, yeah, that was sound like Chinese. I, I, I thought I, you know, I thought I'm crazy, but it is Chinese. I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Thai, Thailand, Vishamupu. Too lazy, why don't you? Her mother's fast, lecturing Chinese sometimes pause for me soft murmur of formation. Then continue. I feel like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Oh, so this is a family problem, isn't it? Huh. Okay, it's all the same thing. Let's accept. Um, okay, I just... <laughs> I just broke the game a little bit. <laughs> You're welcome, so Festival Princess, make book pro, what are you up to? Uh, let's go with this crisis. Okay, I broke the game. No, nope, no, I don't. Residential crisis for my dude. What about you? The noise from my roommate's room has quieted down. I wonder if she's okay. Get a weird feeling. I wonder if I should check up on her. No. Of course I need. Hello? Yes. Um, shit, what should I say? You okay? So I need to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. I think yeah, I'm fine. Um, well, kind of sad, but don't worry about me. You wanna hang out with me in case you don't want to be alone? I like that, but I have work to do. Take a break then. You guys have fruit to do. We should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Oh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Yeah, that's great, that's great. You know, let's hang out so you won't kill yourself. Okay, hold on a sec. Yes, okay. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. Life. How's your life? What are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot. I was not much. A lot. Uh, sorry, I haven't stayed up to date. <laughs> Stay updated. Like I'm your favorite TV show. Don't worry about it. I just feel like I don't make enough time for you. Oh, that's okay. You're not obli obligated to. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. You remember? Of course I did. Happy birthday okay. to you. Let's sing again. Happy she sang me happy birthday. Oh, thank you for remembering. The years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Yeah, you don't remember your own birthday, dude. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? Dream. I had a weird dream. Oh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm, and I called for you, but you didn't hear me, and I lost you. Oh, what does it mean? It means that you're gonna die, dude, and I need to stop you from doing that. I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. You're, you're still scared by bedtime. I'll tell you the bedtime story, okay? 
Oh, you do that for me? Of course. Um, what do you dream? Oh, this dream. Someone else. Someone always dies. Like my most recent one is future you actually. In a bad or good way. Good. Go on. <laughs> it was a massive epidemic. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected and I was gonna die. Then you discovered the cure and I was sick. Well, that's scary. I always knew I was gonna save the world. Yeah, Grimmy, you really saved me. Parents. I can't. I. I actually don't want. Don't really want to ask her about her parents, but I really want to know what's her story about. Oh yeah, what were those noises about? Huh? Earlier in your room. Ah, uh, my mom called. Sorry, did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah, um, she and I. Is everything okay with it? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick and. I want to talk. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? <laughs> you sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. I don't want to start a fight with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought it was raining outside, but I guess it doesn't. I didn't watch that noise. It's really scary. I thought it's, I really thought it's raining just now. In in real life, by the way, not out, it, not in the game. I don't know. It sounded like raining. I was always a golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything. So my parents never pushed me to work hard at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. I hate those kind of parents that just push you too much. Like you should just. If your child do anything they want, you know, at least you know, make sure they do a great thing, and hopefully they love it, and that's fine. You don't need to push them so much. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yell at me when they call me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. See, I hate those kind of I hate those kind of parents that just telling us, you know, just you know, if they want their child, their children to be. Like they become, they want her to become engineers or doctors. Like why do why would you push them like that? Just give them what they like. Just you know, at, at least just check, okay? If they like that thing, just leave it. You know, at least it's a good thing. If it's not, then you should stop them. But if it's a, if, but if it's a great thing, then just leave it. You know, if they like if they like what they want to do, and if it's great, then just leave them. Just leave them alone. Why do you have to push them and becoming like what you want them to become? I really hate those kind of parents. Well, thank God my parents I don't like that. Isn't like that. If it is, then I will run away right now and find and find a new home. They yell at me when they call me writing writers for engineers or doctors. Writing will never make money. But writing will make money, dear. If you make a novel or anything, now my life is slowly falling apart. And instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Then become a YouTuber. Then, <laughs> well, thank you for telling me this. That's fuck. I know. Thanks for listening. Hmm, it's okay to be sad. I hope you realize that it's normal and okay to get in a rut sometimes. Regardless, I believe you. Thanks. Oh, look at him. You're so cute. Writing. What do you write about? Before your parents made you stop. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh. I promise. Harry Potter fanfiction. Hey, that's great. You know. <laughs> you said you won't laugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed. That's awesome. I love Harry Potter. Um, if you say so, I do say so. What fan fiction? What exactly did you write? I was working on one fic. It had like twenty thousand words. If I stop, it was Harry Potter. If Harry was evil, gay, 
p r o m i s e u s I know, embarrassing, but back then I was proud. Yeah, the character arcs and the main plot and everything. No, that's brilliant. All the hours you must put into it is mind blowing. If you ever dig it up, yeah, I, I love to read it sometime. Oh, thanks. I have a lot of inspiration for that one. Like, seriously, I will read that because I never read those kind of fanfiction. Never heard about it. Oh, thanks. I lost inspiration for that one. But maybe I'll show you some something else I'm working on. Nice. Write more, please. Why not do more of them? Everyone likes writing, though. Anything creative, art, music, writing, it doesn't count. That's not true. There's plenty of successful writers out there. Yeah, dude. But not them. I never be able to make a living out. Why you always say negative stuff? Where's your PMA, dude? Positive mental attitude. <laughs> Hashtag PMA, everyone. <laughs> Hashtag just have the guy. <laughs> okay, anyway, I never be able to make a living out of it, and my parents will get so angry. Man, well, fuck, fuck them then. <laughs> poor but happy. Would you rather live the way you're currently living or live poor but happy? Besides, this is you're not good enough to make it profitable. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know. What are you thinking? Um, I think I could be a good writer if I work hard at it. Oh, now you say some good thing. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why is so much easier to give up and just not work? You could give up. I say struggles feel I need to climb to get a reward at the, at the other end. You could give up or you could gather the reward at the other side. <laughs> Motivational speaker much? <laughs> nah, I just have a lot of fields that I've just wanted to give up on. Have you ever given up? No. Well, sometimes. It is something I couldn't care less about, like math. <laughs> Same. But if I care about it, then I pull through and I never regret it. That's also same, like seriously, I really love making YouTube. You know, becoming a YouTuber, that's why I never give up. And now look at me, you know, we just hit 800 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. And you know, sometimes I, when I got like 50 subscribers, I keep uploading a lot of videos, but not a lot of people, you know, watch it. And you know, there's one day that I feel like I want to give up. But when I'm thinking, no, because, you know, I remember Jack Sabbath guy, he's the one I, you know, I like him and He's the guy that I want to become like him, so, you know, I remember that and, you know, I suddenly remember and I say to myself, what the heck then, don't give up, and then, yeah, I just keep uploading videos, and then there's one day, I just hit 1k views, and yeah, I just really happy about it, so yeah, so the moral of the story is, guys, to not ever give up, don't ever give up, if you love the thing, that you do, don't give it up, okay, just keep doing, and you will become successful, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to work harder at getting my life back together, it's tough, though, yeah, it's hard to work on something you don't like, give me a math problem and I snore, <laughs> same, but give me a computer science problem and I look at it for hours, what, you love, oh yeah, computer science, yeah, of course, I also love that, but my school don't really have a computer science subject, so that's kind of suck. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna get a computer science. Maybe in, when I'm in university. But I don't know if I will get it though, because my my exam score is really bad. And yeah, I can I little I like math a little, but sometimes it can be can be really annoying and really frustrating, and I really hate it. Especially when, you know, I'm in exam because I can't look at my textbook and that's really suck. Thanks, I really mean it. I think my parents got into my head. I needed your push. Yes. Anytime. Uh, let's just let time pass. Or stare outside. Let's stare outside. This is relaxing. Yeah, this game is so relaxing, guys. 
I have no idea why, even though it's a horror game. But I'm also getting tired. <laughs> the way I'm wide awake. I am just tired in general. How so? Why are you holding anyway? Is that a bag or... I don't know. I don't know what she's holding. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. It's a satisfying story of mono monotony. Don't know what that means. Whenever I stay inside, windows open with tea and a book is a good shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up with the things I don't enjoy. Put to sleep. Repeat. Then do it all over again. Then make things that you enjoy then. It's cliche but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. I don't know what I want to do. Mm, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? I don't know, because I know that you're gonna kill yourself. Dude. The heck, man. Seriously, last episode, I scared, it scared the heck out of me. I mean, I saw she kill herself, like, she hung herself in her room. The heck, dude. Because I'm worried about you, and I, I care about you. I want you to feel better. Depressed. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe. Hell yeah, I took antidepressants a long time ago, but I felt like they didn't work. Don't take, don't take medicine, dude. It will never work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant. Maybe you need to try a different one. Um, don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. <laughs> Me neither. Not just about this, but in general. Oof, haha, <laughs> same. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really, but now I kinda just want to die. Dude! Are you suicidal? Um. Oh my god, sorry. Was that too blunt? Feel free to not answer. No, you're good. <sighs> yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. Not me. I imagine how it go down, how it look, smell, the aftermath. Smell Whether anyone would care that I was gone or just about how I went I care about you, you dumb shit <laughs> Literally, dude I understand No, I can't understand You must be dealing with some shit Just don't tell anyone, they might kick me out of school That's the last thing I need Of course, I won't tell anyone Thanks <laughs> Professional help If you consider getting professional help, I don't know. Good actors seem so rare. Whoa! I had a bad experience with the mental health resources school, at least. Bad experience? I'll come with you. I'm afraid. You don't need to be afraid. I'll come with you to find a good doctor. We'll drive to every place in this town until we find a good one. Uh, my audio is, is broken, by the way, guys. Um, I don't know, suddenly all the audio becomes static. I don't know, oh god, ouch, ouch. I don't, I don't think you guys can hear it, but my my audio is broken. Um, um, anyway, let's just continue and then I will restart my laptop. We'll drive to every place in this town until we find a good one. You do that for me? Yeah. Thank you. Let time pass. I'm sorry guys, I have I have to pause the game. I need to restart my laptop. We talk more about everything and nothing. On TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we know it, evening dawn. I don't know if you guys will... I don't know if you guys... You'll hear the audio. Hopefully, the recording is you know, normal. Hopefully, we record the audio normal. If it's not, then I'm so fucked. 
Uh, why is my left so so bad? <laughs> okay, anyway, I gotta go. I have work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang again. Yay, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with me one bit. You know, well, time flies by fast. I don't need to use the bathroom. I must be all that tea. Bedroom. What the heck? I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Dude, you hurt yourself. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Apologizing? I. Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I. I need to go. Hug. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She you know, I suddenly have headed back to my room. She didn't want someone accidentally seeing her like this. Like I had. I hug her. I didn't say something yet. Didn't want to break the silence. Oh, that's so cute. After a pause, she spoke. Ah, oh, God. Ah, uh, the audio. Uh, the audio is so bad. I don't know if you guys will hear it. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'm not okay. Just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay. But I don't want to bother anyone, especially you. You're so kind. I made sweet emotions on the back. Wait, let's wait. I don't want to ask too many questions. Thanks for being here. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. I need to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness. Well oh, done. Hey, yes, you do. You're a good person. Of course, you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been weeks since that. And I have gotten even closer. I even consider her one of my best friends. Although I supported her. I didn't want to feel responsible for her. I didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove around to every therapist in town until we could find one she liked. One night. May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? For what? What for? I am. Uh, I don't know how to say this. You are seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me. For listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad. But I, I, I appreciate you. Really. Oh, anytime. Thank you too. For being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god. No, you. No, you. <laughs> Uno reverse. <laughs> Uno reverse. Okay, I get it. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, What? I was buried in a blizzard. It's no palette powerful and unpredictable. Never ending. I will keep crying for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. I saw my messages. I grabbed a shovel up. I could finally open my door. The end. Hope. There's something to look forward to, after all. That's all. Thank you for playing. By Angela He, inspired by real life. Even and Junji Ito. That was for ending. No, I will. I will continue. I don't know, guys. Cause um the the website say there's four ending, guys. Four endings. But anyway, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Um, the end. Hope. That was a good ending, but. The last one I don't really, I don't really understand, but still, I I guess that's a good ending. But wow, <laughs> damn guys, um yeah, this game is so cool. So I got two endings now. There's two left, and I will continue this series, of course. Um, Anyway, my audio, my audio is just really crazy right now. It's 
totally broken. Hopefully, I restart the laptop and it will be fine. Man, it ruined the mood. <laughs> Literally, stupid of you. Why you have to do this to me? And hopefully, your recording didn't mess it up. I hope that it didn't mess the recording. If it is, then I'm so screwed. But anyway, um, there we go, guys. Um, this is the second ending. Hope, hope you guys like it. <laughs> hope you guys like it. And if you like it, then please click, click that like button. And if you guys want episode three, then how about click that subscribe button? I'll truly appreciate it. And I guess you know, if you guys want to know when I'm gonna upload a new video on the channel, then how about click that notification bell. I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. Man, stupid audio really ruined the mood. Anyway, now I know why there's blood and no hit. Cause no hit is that um she hung herself, so it's like she don't have a hit anymore. And the scissors is because she hurt herself. So there's blood all over it. Wow.